guys, I'm here with some October favorites for you guys. I'm filming in my sister's room right now because the light's really bad in my room. So let's get started. First, I'm going to start out with some skincare products. I really like having clear skin. I actually have really bad skin. It's dry in some parts and it's oily in other parts. And sorry if this light keeps like blinding you. Um, I'm trying to find like a, a better spot to... I usually don't film in here, so I think this is good. Um, so, you know, I use the Murad line and I use this cleanser. I got a bigger version. Ooh, it's sticky. Wow, my nails look really crappy right now. Ignore those. Yeah, so I really love this cleanser. Um, it does tend to dry out your skin a little bit, I'm not going to lie. But that's why I got the Clean Scene by Murad. This is a new line. It came with two little samples. This is for their Craving for Clean uh, Foaming Cleanser. I don't like this as much as the Clarifying Cleanser. But the real thing that I was excited for was the Bang for Balance Moisturizer. Okay, this smells delicious. It says it's called Yum Berry. I'm actually going to order the normal version just because I love it so much. I was planning on painting my nails before this, but didn't have time. The sun was going down. I also got Murad's Oil Control Mattifier. Yeah, you put this on um, before you put on your makeup and it's supposed to like eliminate your shine and stuff on your face. Um, it dries it out a little bit so I only put it on my T-zone. I put it like right here and then on my nose. And this keeps shine away all day. This is pretty good. This is $40 I think so yes the Murad line is a little bit expensive, but I really actually think it works Okay, so my next product is also a Murad product that I just got it's $37 and I wasn't really sure if I was gonna like it, so I Just decided to go for it anyways, and it wasn't that big of a bottle, so It's um the Murad redness therapy correcting moisturizer after I wash my face it gets really red on my cheeks and my nose and stuff so um, I just use a little bit of this and I put it on like my cheeks and my forehead and then I let it dry and then I put on my actual moisturizer, moisturizer, <laughs> and it works great. It's not going to eliminate the redness altogether, but it really, really, really helps. I'm not going to lie. You know, I've been using the Bedhead Frizz Control and Straightener Shampoo, the green one, because I was really into straightening my hair all the time. This is what my hair actually looks like. But lately, I've been so lazy, I just let it be curly. I don't even care anymore. Like, as you can tell, my hair's like really weird. It's like straight up here, and then it like has like ringlets here. It looks really fake. Like, but. That's what it looks like. So now I've been using um, the Bedhead Foxy Curls shampoo. I didn't buy the conditioner because um, this was already like $25 and I didn't have enough money for the conditioner. So I just have the shampoo right now. But the lady said that um, since this is sulfate free, like sulfate is like a chemical. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's damaging to your hair. So it's better if you don't have any sulfate. It helps define my curls and that's what I've been really doing this month is just letting it do what it wants and sleeping in because I'm like really tired. I've had, I have so much homework all the time. Next week basketball starts. I'm not really looking forward to that. I have one nail product. It's what I have on my chipped nails right now. Yeah, ignore them. They're, they're really ugly right now. I'm going to fix them as soon as this video is over. I just wanted to film before the light went down. So I got OPI Most Honorable Red. This is the greatest nail polish I've ever had. It's just like the prettiest color and it's a big brush and it fits over my whole nail and I only have to do one coat and it has like this shine. This has been on for over a week and it just started chipping today because I was picking at it. Please go check out that color. <laughs> now I'm going to talk about the Dream Mousse line. So first I bought the blush. This was in one of my hauls I think. Um, I got it in Peach Satin 20. It's, it's really, really light, um, just because, like I said, I have redness problems, so I'm not really a big blush person. Um, I like this, and then I was reading reviews on it, and someone said, I don't really like it because it has sparkles in it. And I didn't even realize that there were, like, sparkles in it. You can't really tell, but when you're up close, 
it's kind of sparkly and it's something different, something to try. It's six dollars. If you don't like it, it's not that big of a deal. It's not like a huge investment. But then I went out and bought the Dream Matte Mousse and I bought this in Nude Light 4. And I bought this probably a couple weeks ago and I was using it and I really liked it. Then it started getting too dark for me. Like I'm losing my tan from summer so I'm not as dark as I was. Um, so I can't use this anymore because it makes me look like I fake and bake. But um, I might go back and pick it up in a lighter color but or I might just save this for summer. I don't need a lot of coverage. But um, I went back to buy the Dream Mousse Concealer. And I, I made sure to get this one really light. I got it in ivory light. <laughs> it's still really dark though. Look at it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really like this. I I truthfully like my Murad concealer better. I think I've showed that in a past video. I don't know. I like that better because it's in the twistable stick. I've also been liking this Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in black. It was like $7, I think, and it doesn't look like that big of a container, but it actually has a lot of product in it. The brush that comes with it, though, it does not work. Um, I tried to use it, and it didn't work, so I had to go and try to find uh, an eyeliner brush for right now. And this is just a temporary one until I order a Sigma one, because I'm going to order some Sigma brushes. So I ordered the Sonia Keshuk. eyeliner brush. It's kind of dirty right now. It's white when you first buy it, but then as soon as you use it, it starts to turn like a different color, but if it's stained a little black, who cares? But it's a really good eyeliner brush. It's kind of still hard to apply it on your top lash, but it's great for your waterline. My favorite eye products of the month are, like this is what I've been doing every day because I wake up so late sometimes, so I just need like a quick eye that I can do really fast. So what I've been doing is take my Sephora eyeshadow in peach beige and um, I take this and I take my Sonia Keshuk eyeshadow brush and I just pat it on there and I just pat it all over my lid and then I take this Urban Decay pigment in baked. Yeah, anyways, it's just like dark sparkles. And I've been just like not using the brush on this because it like just makes a mess. Um, so I take a little bit on the Sonia Keshuk blending brush and I just pat it on there and then I put it in my crease and then I just smoke it out. And I think it looks really pretty and it takes like two minutes, seriously. Yeah, so that's what I've been doing for my eyes. On my lips, I've been wearing Max Viva Glam Lady Gaga lip glass. I'm going to do a real swatch on this. All right, I'm going to get this to work. All right, you better be able to see that. It's just like a really pretty baby pink lip gloss. It kind of gets a little sticky sometimes though, but I really like it, plus I love Lady Gaga, so. My last product is probably my favorite, and everyone loves this product, seriously. It's Max Mineralized Skin Finish Natural, and I got this in the color medium. Look at that. I can just moisturize my face, take this, and put some of it on there, and my skin looks like really good, and it, it looks so natural, and that's really what I want to go for is natural. When I use my Dream Matte Mousse, you can tell that I'm wearing makeup when I wear this, but when I have my MAC product, and I just like apply it with a powder brush, it looks so good. So good. I love it. Um, it is on the pricier side, $26, but... It's going to last you a long time. It's a really good product, and I recommend it to everyone. Like, If I had to recommend one product, it would be this. Tell me what your favorite products of the month are. Post a video response. Whatever. Give me some ideas, requests, something. Just give me some feedback. That would be really cool. I'm going to try to make more videos. If not, I'll see you with my November favorites.